In this video, I'm going to show you how to add error bars into your charts and Google Sheets. So error bars are useful because they can help show confidence intervals or standard deviation in your data. Or in other words, um, they help represent how much uncertainty or variability there is um, in your data. So to add error bars, the first thing we are going to do is create a chart. So I have this, um, just this basic example data in my sheet, and I'm going to highlight the range of cells that contains the data that I'm going to create a chart for. And then I'm going to go up to the top and select insert and then chart. So there's a few different types of charts um, that you can create error bars for. Column charts, line charts, or bar charts. You can put error bars into all of those. I'm just going to do a basic column chart in my data. So now that I have my column chart created here, I want to put error bars in here. So if your chart editor is already open, you can just select customize. If it's not already open, um, just double click on your chart and this tab will pop back up. So you want to select customize here and then the error bar settings are in series. So after you expand this series, by clicking this down arrow, if you scroll down, there is this box for error bars. You just check that and then you can see it inserted these error bars into my graph. So there's three different types of error bars that you can use in Google Sheets. There's percentage um, and then the value here you will set. This will display basically a certain percentage above and below your data. So right now it's set to 10%. So it's going to display 10% below and 10% above. So 90 to 110% of the values I have here. Um, another one you can choose is constant. This is just going to be a constant value. So if I set this to 2, it's just 2 uh, uh, below and above my data. And then the last one is standard deviation. Um, so this will just be the standard deviation of your data and you also set that value here. So that is pretty much it for error bars um, in your charts. It is very useful if you're regularly displaying data. It just helps you um, to visualize more and make your data easier to interpret. So if you have any questions, um, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.